741. Summer's here, although it's kind of tough to tell this morning, but summer is here. So what wines go best with barbecues and warm, sunny days? Sunny days, that's a question for Natalie McLean. Natalie's a wine expert. You get all sorts of terrific information from her website, nataliemcclain.com. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Barry. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So what makes a wine ideal for summer, Natalie? <laughs> Uh, you, there's a wide range. I would say it just has to be wet, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough. See you later. Yeah, exactly. I'm done. Um, well, we look at a wide range of reds and whites because barbecues, traditionally, uh, Canada Day barbecues, aren't just about big honking slabs of meat, although many of us still love that. That's true. We're, we're grilling seafood and portobello mushrooms and veggies and so on. So, you know, whether you're a white or a red wine lover, um, there's a wine for you. Now, that said, I would pick wines that do have full flavor, whether they're reds or whites. So where would you like to start? How about red? Okay. All so right. if you've got burgers or steak or even grilled pork chops, whatever you've got on the grill meat-wise, I would go with a full-bodied red. Um, one of the ones that I like, just even for the label alone, but the stuff inside the bottle is good, too, is called Seven Deadly Zins. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's a Zinfandel from California. And okay. Zinfandel is plush. It's got big, juicy, black plum flavors and aromas. This is a dry wine. It's just those are the fruit flavors that come through. It's not tannic. Tannin's that, you know, furry mouth feeling you get if mm. you drink over steep tea. You don't want that with grilled and charry flavors of your meat. You want something that's juicy and vibrant. So that's a terrific red uh, to start with. Uh, Menage a Trois, another fun named wine. Excuse me? Oh, I see. We're still talking wine. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> don't get off topic. I won't. Now, okay. So it's Folie à deux, uh, Menage a Trois, another um, California red. It's a mix of red grapes. Um, Cabernet is in there. Again, juicy, delicious, mm -hmm. very giving. I All like right. that in a wine. How about some white wine suggestions? Okay. So if we go for a zesty, white, zippy wine, uh, we can try Inniskillen Riesling from Ontario. Um, you know what I also love is uh, St. Nicholas Cider. If you you know want a bit of a lower alcohol from Quebec, um, a lovely apple zest. It's wonderful with fresh seafood. That or the Inniskillen Riesling or an Erasmus Sauvignon Blanc, a Razarus, uh, I know that's a tricky one to get your tongue around, but it's actually easy to drink. It's from chili, zesty, like salad in a glass. Yeah, as long as you don't have to pronounce it and just uh, just consume it. Yeah, you just point to the bottle and say, pass me that. Exactly. Now, Natalie, uh, I, I don't like to spend a fortune on wine, and I suspect most people don't. Does that mean I have to settle? No, you don't have to settle at all. That Erasmus Sauvignon Blanc is thirteen dollars and seventy eight cents. Oh, the okay. SAQ. There you go. The the, 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 uh, the cider is twelve dollars. The uh, Menage a Trois seventeen. I mean, I do focus on wines that are reasonably priced yeah. because you know most of us don't have a trust fund. So that's fair enough. Yeah. Natalie McLean is the author of the bestseller Unquenchable: A Tipsy Search for the World's Best Bargain Wines. She's also editor of Canada's largest wine site, and you can check out more of her picks and food pairings at www.nataliemcclain.com. Pleasure speaking with you. You too, Barry. Have a great long weekend. And you. Cheers. It's okay, uh, 7.45.